There are logical puzzles called knights and knaves um, puzzles, and Raymond Smolin developed them. I got his book, well, it's one of his early books, when I was a child, and I really liked doing these things. I'm going to post this here. It's uh, the very first logical puzzle. It's the beginning of his Knights and Knaves. And it gives you a good introduction to logic <laughs> um, and why logic is so much fun. There's a link also in the low bar to Wolfram's math site because there are some really good um, and more complex Knights and Knaves puzzles there. And then, of course, there'll be some links to Smolin's books. He's written quite a few. Okay, here is the puzzle. A very special island is inhabited only by knights and knaves. Knights always tell the truth and knaves always lie. You meet two inhabitants, Zoe and Mel. Zoe tells you that Mel is a knave. Mel says neither Zoe nor I are knaves. Who is the knight and who is the knave? Uh, if you've read the puzzle or if you did this a long time ago too, then please don't just blurt out the answer. Um, it's not very difficult, I guess, but it's a good way to put your toe in the water and think about the fact also that I am the one, the person who set up the puzzle actually told you what, what to think. They told you that knights always tell the truth and knaves always lie. There are no real knights and real knaves in the real world. And I, I want to talk later about logic and what it can do and can't do. And that's why I wanted to start at this level so that we can sort of get our toes wet about um, what you can do with logic and what you can't do. So again, knights always tell the truth, knaves always lie. So is Mel, a knight or a knave. How about Zoe, knight or knave? Okay, that's it. Take care. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.